Hi everyone. Hello everyone. This is I am Sagar Shah and we have with us the teacher of today's Hello. lecture Amruta Mokal the Khan expert. I would not call myself that but definitely passionate about Khan. <laughs> well for sure so let's have a look if uh, any people have joined us today uh, it's the second session uh, in our Khan uh, journey. So uh, yeah well let's see we have a few people already who are waiting since uh, the start so hi uh, Akshar, Aditya, Abhay, Harji Singh, uh, Esoteric, Manoj Dutt. So a lot of people are joining in. It's very uh, good to know that <laughs> people are interested in Khan. <laughs> yes uh, I think uh, the first lecture dealing mm. with the Khan uh, really made an impression on a lot of people. We received a lot of messages which said that uh, we didn't know that Sicilian could be so easy to learn. Uh, so we have, um, I guess people like the way you showed them the Khan variation. I'm glad if they did and I would really like to uh, give them the whole knowledge about the opening at least the basics so that uh, they they can decide whether they like it and they want to prepare it more in depth and they want to try it out even if they don't then i think it's always good to uh, improve your understanding in sicilian it happens from both the sides right uh, so we have a few more people i'll just uh, say hi to all of them we have uh, arvin joshi manoj pande omkar chakradev uh, esoteric <laughs> Nice names yeah, are exactly. <laughs> Sam, uh, Simpleton, uh, Tushar Kuwar, chess player and cuber, Sunita Bhattacharya, Gaurish. Hello, hello all. Uh, and Amruta, what's the topic of today's lecture? So we will be looking at the moves Bishop D3 and C4. Uh, a little more in depth, not tremendously, but uh, so that we can close that chapter. Okay. And because last class we did uh, Wolf Georgiou so um, I think it is a good extension to that. <laughs> sure uh, so we are going to continue with the Maroxi bind setup and uh, as always you have to be ready uh, Amruta is going to pose you with a lot of questions and uh, that's the idea of uh, this live interaction that yes. you need to be ready with the moose and uh, when the question is asked to you, you need to give us the moves in the chat. And if you have any questions, do ask them to us. Yes, for sure. I'm not using engine. And <laughs> so I will make some blunders. <laughs> so forgive me for that. Uh, so you already reached the position of the Khan. Set up. Yes. E6, A6. As everyone knows, we are controlling the light squares. Bishop D3. Knight F6. And now C4. So in the last uh, game which we saw between Wolf and Ge Georgiou, it was Castle. Ah, instead of C4, uh, it was Castle. Castle, Queen C7, and then C4. So uh, right now we are going to look at first C4. Of course, it's not a very recommended move though played, but. Uh, as I am telling you that the way I learnt it and the way I got interested in the opening, similarly I want to show it to you, <laughs> uh, what happens if this is played. Okay, uh, so we have uh, some things over here, uh, Angom Nongsha is here and Manoj Pandey said, I learnt a lot from your last lecture, it was really helpful, Thank so you. thanks a lot Manoj. Uh, and uh, Anjaneya has some question. Anjaneya, can we can you send this question towards the end of the show so that we can answer? And maybe Atul is here. Uh, I'm not sure if it is Atul Dahale. <laughs> uh, I think it's him. He's saying I'm starting my preparation today with this show. Okay. So that's wonderful to know, Atul. Uh, Anya teaches is also here, and uh, Anya asked, why is Amruta ma'am wearing the same dress? Oh yeah, I uh, <laughs> it just uh, she didn't change <laughs> since last three days. So it's a gift from Sagar, and I really love it. <laughs> well, it just uh, uh, you wear it above something, so it's uh, she's wearing it again. Yes. Uh, and overall, uh, Amruta, coming back to this position, yes, um, as we had mentioned, yes, black should never let white play the move e five. Correct. 
so <laughs> that's why no never is not correct there are situations when you allow e5 but at that time you have to understand that uh, you're getting something in return so it will develop through understanding right but uh, so if he castles then he's already threatening the move e5 correct because there would be no queen f5 check correct and, and that, that is, is why you play queen c7 correct but when he plays the move c4 here yes you're no longer worried of e5 because there's still the check absolutely correct oh. and that is why uh, black can directly play here okay so black uh, played the move knight to c6 yes okay right now so now the d4 knight is attacked again white has to decide whether to take or to go back or to play bishop e3 but in general uh, if you are provoking bishop e3 at this point it is already fine because later on we will be looking into lines like castle and queen e2 where uh, provoking bishop e3 is uh, definitely avoiding all those variations which is good enough and one more thing is up, uh, just going back i'm sorry here okay after c instead of c4 white has knight c3 which can convert from fifth move knight c3 we will look into that also later directly castle is already mentioned and after c4 the setup of knight c3 this is also possible so these are all the setups we will be looking at mm -hmm. uh, currently we will go continue with knight c6 and uh, white normally can play knight into c6 but in the game which i'm going to show you right now he went back knight e2 I think I should correct you at this point <coughs> because you said he went back but your opponent was a she. Yeah, yeah sorry. So uh, who was your opponent? Who whom were you playing? So it's with? a very uh, long back years ago game. Uh, it was Padmini Raut. She was uh, definitely very strong and upcoming player. At that time she was uh, an, around 1900 something but uh, yes of course very well very good player still. so padmini as we all know i am sure you guys know her a uh, uh, top class player but uh, back in 2005 she was very young and uh, amruta took her chance to beat as as anand <laughs> yeah, now it will be difficult as anand recently said he was talking to karyakin and uh, pragnananda uh, had played with karyakin uh, in aeroflot blitz yes, yes. and and anand said to karyakin it's good to beat these youngsters when they are young <laughs> <laughs> because after a point they become so strong that it's not so easy to beat them yes <laughs> very correct okay so, so knight e2 was played and the first as we know every after every move we have a habit to make new observations and the observation is that the g4 square is no more controlled mm -hmm. it's an important observation i think in sicilian and uh, it's good for us he's she's gone back we just have to develop bishop c5 okay. again e5 is not coming you just developed on the best diagonal so yes white played castle here mm -hmm. and now may be a good time for all of you to put on your thinking caps and uh, try to come up with black smooth in this position yes so let's see if if uh, people will get this answer there are a few questions here uh, Apex Royal says are you going to Kathmandu GM tournament no unfortunately not it's it looks beautiful uh, we are in we are going to be in uh, Karnataka state at that yes. time so we would be giving that a miss and uh, yeah there are few more people who who says uh, Akshar Zala uh, is over here there's also Crescendo Furioso who says hi from Kerala so okay hello uh, everyone and uh, aditya yes. talekar says bishop a7 there's also sagar chess here so it's not me but uh, <laughs> i think it's my friend uh, hal sagar who is from karnataka uh, he's also logged in today so hal sagar says h5 i think guys uh, you remember the move from the last class h5 <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay Oh, uh, I have one move. I and think. Uh, there are few more. Uh, civil guy uh, said queen c2. No, it's black to play, so you can't play queen c2. Omkar says knight e5. Uh, there's one person who said a very interesting move. That's Chesser, who says knight g4. And uh, well, knight b4 is also a possible move. So a lot of possibilities here. But uh, as you know, Amruta likes to attack. 
than H5 is possible, but uh, stronger than that, I feel more uh, powerful is Knight G4. As we, as I already told you that just the observation G4 is no more controlled and take advantage of the fact immediately. So Knight G4 was played and F2 is tremendously under pressure. H3, uh, definitely a natural move. Mm -hmm. And right now, uh, okay, it's not very difficult to guess what the next. No, no, would it's be. very difficult. Actually, I think uh, for a <laughs> normal player who doesn't play the Sicilian, the Sicilian can come across as an opening with a lot of difficult moves to find. Okay. So, uh, everyone here, where would you move your knight in this position? Why does just played H three? <laughs> So Apex Clash asks, can you do a video on KID? Yes, for sure. We'll be doing a uh, lot of videos uh, in the future on a lot of different openings. Um, Civil Guy says H5. Atul <laughs> says H5. Atul, what are you doing? Yeah, you started your preparation <laughs> today and you're already attacking. Uh, Civil Guy also says H5. So Yes, as I told you, it's now not very difficult <laughs> well, after no. the last class. <laughs> For sure, uh, I think people are getting used but, to... But very important is, what is the calculation? What happens if white plays H into G4? Mm -hmm. So, uh, guys, you did play uh, H5, uh, but what if white just takes the knight? What would you do? So Sagar Chess also said H5, everyone uh, wants to attack. So now you are a piece down, how are you going to follow it up? Tarini Charan says 95, I think she was talking about the previous position. In fact, it was a small trick from yeah. me where that I asked you where to move the knight because you didn't have to. H5. Queen H4 is what everyone's saying here. If H into G4, Queen H4. So this move Amruta, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Then what is the plan for g5? I think that, yeah, the problem with queen h4 is that white can just close the h-file with uh, g5. And uh, I think this is what we suffer from many times. We want to do something always. Uh, even if you look at the recent game of uh, Georg Meyer and uh, Carlson. Carlson, he just had to play the move rook h1 and he would have got a winning attack. Similarly, here I think... You just have to take. Yeah, just take because that is the whole idea of playing H5, that opening the H file. And we have civil guy, uh, Vishal, uh, Gaurish, Akshar, yes. Anjaneya, uh, all of them found the move at G4, so yes. that's great. Because the main idea is white is uh, not developed as much as normally he is and that is why we have time to sacrifice a piece. H into G4. G3, uh, of course, have to be considered. Yes, uh, because Queen H4 is a big threat. Yes. So, Amruta, uh, did uh, did Padmini take the knight in the game or this is just no, analysis? She, she took, didn't take. She took a long time here. It was uh, maybe around 40 minutes or something. She didn't take the knight. Yeah, I kept calculating though. There were a lot of interesting variations. <laughs> so, y you continued. Uh, now... Now we continue. G3. Yeah. Uh, you ca do you want to ask the question or we? Well, maybe it's up to you. What, what should uh, Black play here? How how to continue the attack in the most decisive manner? Yeah. Yeah. So knight e5 uh, is what uh, Chesser says here. It's a very King possible G2 move. Then King g2 for knight e5. Yeah, knight. If you take your knight to e5, uh, king g2 is a possible move. Maybe something more aggressive than knight e5 could be played. Yes, civil guy, Arvin, Joseph. Everyone says knight e5. I think the the thing what they are looking at is uh, knight e5, king g2, and knight to f3. And then, then they are looking at a check on h2, which leads to a mate. Rook h1. But yeah, so you have. Rook h1 and I don't think it's going to be a mating attack. Yeah, right. If I get rook h1, it, it's not easy. Yeah? No, with the rook exchange, no, yeah. I can't. Omkar says, that's why the knight on e2 is dumb. It should have gone to c2 at the, in the opening. Definitely. 
yeah c2 and then you have more scope with e3 and stuff so yeah it makes sense so uh leonardo fagundes i don't know which country is from <laughs> uh he has said a very interesting move and i think that's what your analysis was yeah queen f6 is a is a nice move because there are a few ideas here one of it is definitely you want to take your queen to the h file and this is one way and um with the following ideas of g5 oops blocking the bishop controlling the h6 square and then transferring the queen that is one idea at the same time king g2 is not possible because of the f3 weakness mm -hmm. and uh, queen f3 is definitely a threat but assuming black will try to white will try to save it knight c3 as we know the new observation it has uh, left the control of some very important square and now you can get your mm, knight d4 correct so i i think udala gaurish uh, and anya everyone got queen f6 uh, a little bit after uh, we asked it so that's great and now knight f3 is a big threat yes knight f3 and if white tries to save it then you can simply <coughs> exchange the bishop then go queen g6 and queen h5 is unstoppable so uh, yes i think this move over here is not so easy knight into e2 uh because you you would be thinking of okay g4 is hanging so you take but the very nice point is that after king g2 uh queen h5 there is no rook h1 because the queen has been deflected yes, correct True. so that's a nice point and uh in the game padmini didn't take your knight yeah she developed i think again it was a natural move which i was also considering during the game bishop f4 mm -hmm. <coughs> So Bishop F4 was played. Uh, Nikhil Dixit is here. Uh, hi Nikhil. Uh, he recently made his I M norm, yes. and he has been studying a lot of quality chess books uh, <laughs> from from Chess Base uh, and Chess Base India. So uh, Nikhil, all all the best yeah, for that. Yeah, he is uh, quite a self-made player and works a lot on his own. It's in inspiring. Right. And Jignesh Shah asks me today, no Chess Base India T-shirt. Ha ah, well <laughs> uh, I took a break from that uh, maybe Easy next class to wash it <laughs> uh, and Rehan Mansoor says please guys I am unrecognized please at least check okay Rehan hi to you you are not unrecognized yeah, no. anymore <laughs> okay so, so bishop f4 and what do you think how should black continue yes yeah, this is a key move key moment now uh, and often in a game there comes a moment where you need to calculate accurately yeah. and this is the time black maybe to play maybe if you can suggest two moves it can be better yeah some yes there are there moves. are many interesting moves here no like i mean you you suggest a move for black and then something for white all as okay, well okay okay by the way leonardo uh, sorry alfonso mm -hmm. lopez asks in that last variation after queen h6 what happens to rook queen g6, queen g6 what happens to rook g1 hmm, that's an interesting hmm. question uh, no but i think rook h ah, okay rook h2 no he will not take he has to go king f1 back no rook h2 check king f1 rook into f2 ah yeah you have the bishop on c5 hmm. okay ah, i've given a piece already but i think uh, let's okay. let's come to that position <laughs> in a in a while it's a very nice one uh vishal girdhar has come up with a move queen f6 with some five exclamation marks <laughs> he is definitely very happy to have found it and uh, yes <laughs> yes men, uh, and also uh, <coughs> anya teaches is very much uh, keen to play knight e3 but i don't see it's just losing a piece uh, akash says queen h4 is interesting move mm -hmm. yeah you always move forward um civil guy says g5 chesser says e5 okay e5. many interesting moves okay so shall we proceed here yes for sure uh, there are a few moves here which are very nice but none of the none of the people tried to look at some captures in this position <laughs> <laughs> like uh, if if in a position you have some captures or checks you should look at it first so knight into f2 amruta what do you think did you calculate that during the game just a bit mhm mm 
Yes, Leonardo Fagundes and Tushar Kuwar says knight into f2. Ah, okay. Uh, so what? What? How do you continue now? So knight f2, rook f2 seems forced. Yes. Right, and then definitely black has to play the next move of double attack, which is queen b6 because both are attacked, and at the same time rook on a1 is also hanging. White will try to support. And now, okay, black can go bishop into f2, queen into f2, queen into b2, and he is winning the rook, right? Mm hmm. So I, I I mean if I saw this I would have thought that white is uh, black is winning here, but is, is is it not the case? No. Okay, what's the good move here, guys, uh, for white to play over here? Akash says say for queen h4. Yes, Akash will come back to that move. Queen h4 in that position. Will Wild Buddha says have you guys played against each other in any tournament? I think after marriage itself, we played against each other three times. Yeah. Three times, and every time we <laughs> fought it out on the board. No draw policy. Uh, you know, if we fight in normal life, why not fight it out on the board <laughs> as well? Uh, yeah, so. definitely. The first time it was very tough psychologically, but then slowly we got used to it. And next time, I'm waiting to beat him. <laughs> yeah, that's what we say to everyone. Uh, if you are paired against a friend or your better half or even your practice partner, you must always play uh, because in in chess it teaches you the struggle. It teaches you the war. If you are not ready to fight it out and you're just trying to make a draw uh, without playing. That's not the real gist of the game. Yeah, and basically it means that if you can keep your two lives separate, personal and professional, I yes. think it is a big, big thing because it is not easy. Many times in our personal lives, we have so many different issues and problems, and if everything starts affecting during the game, mm -hmm. then uh, you cannot give your best. So if you can keep both of them separate, it's always better. You have a lot of personal issues. <laughs> <here>. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. In okay. General, so we have some uh, very strong players here: Arvind Joseph, Aditya Talekar, uh, Sunita Bhattacharya. Did you get any moves? Everyone yeah, said the right move: Bishop C1 or Knight E C3. Both moves extremely strong because after he takes, you play this. Bishop C1 anyway, and then Bishop B2 is just queen trap. It's, it's really nice. Like you cannot leave the variation at Queen B2. So normally. Um, until the threats and captures and these forcing variations continue, you should not leave. Like at this point, bishop c1 is a forcing move. So, so that is the reason you cannot leave it halfway. Right. Okay. <laughs> so that's why in this very position, knight into f2 was not so good. So Amruta, uh, tell us about the move you played. Uh, by the way, people are saying queen h4 here. We should definitely say something yeah, about that move. Uh, Something about Queen H4 because of which I didn't like it much. I think Bishop G3, just simple Bishop G3. Yeah. Yes, no, and Queen into G, uh, no, right, Knight. There's a Knight on G3. I e2, forget. So uh, you cannot take, and this has helped uh, White. I think so because you have to go back. And then you'll take the Knight. And then you can. Yeah, you can take. In fact, you can play H4 in worst case and just. Close down the position. Yeah, it's possible. So but of course, a bla the black is better though. Yeah. But, uh, no, maybe not. But so queen h4 yeah, is not the not most like decisive. Yeah, it's not happening. Yeah, it's not very forcing. Yes, and also uh, g5 uh, suggested g5 by one. G5 is definitely possible. I like it. Yeah, it's it's uh, one of the good moves. Because if you go here, then you have h4. And just possible. keep yes. moving forward. So g5 was possible. But uh, in the game, uh, you played the move? Queen f6. Mm -hmm. Again, I went queen f6 because h into g4 is still not possible. <coughs> I s no, actually no. Not here. <laughs> h into g4 is what it's your possible. opponent played yeah. in the game. She played in the game. But our question is, h into we are going to tell you, h into g4 was not the best move. Yes. So here, white has a better move than h into g4. Correct. What is that? Because I think this is a very key one. A uh, lot of people are asking, uh, are we couple? 
so uh, <laughs> yes for sure we are couples for now since last 10 years yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh I don't know by the next show what's what will be our status but at least for now we are couple <laughs> so it's white to play here what what are you going to play how should white defend yes i think it's very important to also consider moves for the opponent if you want to get a feel of the position absolutely so we have a few moves knight c3 uh is one move that is suggested queen d2 uh bishop akash is saying bishop d6 but that's just a free bishop uh i don't understand queen d2 is what everyone's saying um and knight c3 but if if it is let's say you play knight c3 which looks like the most obvious move how are you going to continue amruta now g5 Yeah. At this point, G5 and then is strong because uh, F2 is attacked. No, that is the reason I played Queen F6 first. Right. Because Bishop G3 H4, it's more forcing. So that's why people want to play Queen D2 to stop G5. Okay, Queen D2 is interesting, but still I have an option of now Knight into F2, Rook into F2, G5, but Bishop E3 is coming. I have to be careful. But they take first. That is take, right. Then G5. And now G5. I think Black is better here. Yeah. Unless if oh, if there is e five, but then I can just take. Yeah. So I would still for queen d two sh should try to find if there is anything better, but. Uh, but I think knight f two does the trick. Yeah. So. Sure. Yes. Yeah, so what should white play? I think no one has been able to find. This is quite surprising. Ah, there's one guy, Tarini Charan Panda. the only one out of so many people who found the right move tarini excellent work the right move is e5 yes e5 it's forcing because i have to take otherwise it makes no sense for me let's say knight e5 knight into e5 and then the idea is if you have made an observation then with e5 you have vacated a square key square and white can just simply develop here knight c3 no more there is a threat on b2 or anything and knight e4 is a very strong idea here <coughs> because the c5 bishop is quite irritating so in a way uh, you just gave up a pawn yeah to to get some activity for the pieces uh mm -hmm. so e5 was a very powerful move definitely very difficult uh, to consider in the game at yes. that point of time it was in 2005 i will i will say 13 years ago <laughs> i think uh, uh, sagar hal sagar gave an interesting move which was b4 i think uh, he was in uh, uh, <laughs> just trying to uh, play very aggressively i should be into f2 crook into f2 and now knight f2 king f2 queen into a1 at this point of time yeah, is it yeah. that might be winning for you but okay yeah, the queen might get trapped again no queen b2 is a check and then i escape so i can escape right so okay b4 doesn't work uh, hmm h into g4 was played h into g4 yeah So h into g4, h into g4. Again, the threat is queen h4 mm -hmm. here. Mm, even if he plays g3, then even if she plays g3, then I have g5 and queen h6. So uh, rook e1 was played, trying to escape. Queen h4, and then knight g3. Yeah, there was a mate on h1 so she stopped it. But now it's time to for the finishing stroke, yeah. Yes. What should black player? People are asking a lot of uh, unusual questions to us instead of chess questions they're asking <laughs> don't you have kids? Or <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, uh, the point is uh, we ourselves uh, are like kids, you know, we're running around everywhere, going to tournaments. I don't think we can handle it right now. Uh 
Nongsha was asking about Bishop G3 in that position, but I think Queen H1 was a mate. Akash, Akash has found the move. Knight D4. And then it, Sagar Chess and then Gaurish Baliga. Yes, everyone's found uh, Knight D4. Well done. That's a very powerful move. Yes, I think after Knight G3, the D4 square, like in the last variation, Knight C3, and then you got control of D4. Similarly, Knight D4 is a very strong move now. So just to move mate is the idea and white has only move f3 to save the mate but then it's just a forcing win here <laughs> yes you can show it uh, knight e2 check double check king f1 knight g3 bishop g3 queen h1 king e2 queen into g2 and then it's a mate wow very nice uh Amruta, that was a nice win. By the way, this game was played in uh, Sangli tournament, right? Yeah, Sangli. <laughs> uh, do you have any memories of that place? And I guess we can ask our viewers if any of them have, have played, played in, in Sangli. Sangli. Yeah. Uh, because I think all of us have uh, gone there at least once in our life as a chess player. Yes, I think the memory used to be about the food there, which was so nice. Simple homemade food also in restaurants and... The chapatis. I think that was one very uh, nice thing about it. Then we used to go to uh, theatres to watch movies at that time in 25 rupees. <laughs> which used to be exciting. <laughs> because it used to be one month long uh, uh, tournaments. Like four to five tournaments back to back. So all these things. A lot of yeah. memories. It was nice. It used to be in a school. We used to stay on... Um, like the bear, like you know, you get this gaddi and you have to put it down. There are a lot of mosquitoes. You put odomos and <laughs> it was very nice. At yes. That time. So um, I think at that time it was more important to have a nice time during tournaments than preparation. Keep mentally fresh because there was not mm, much. The technology had was not there much. Yes. There were no mobiles and. So so you you prepare the Khan at home. Mm. Like see all these. She she learned it from Arun Vaidya. And then go to the tournament, watch movies, enjoy and uh, have a nice <laughs> no, time no, and beat time. your opponent <laughs> when, when you get on the board. So, yeah, Amruta is uh, Padmini now is, uh, of course, very strong, almost yeah. unbeatable sort of uh, player, one, winning four nationals yes. back to back. Yes. Uh, but this was a nice win. Yes, it was a nice win. And because of this H5 ideas, I started my love for Sicilian Khan started growing. And I gained more confidence and I could just start playing it, you know. Right. That was the main idea about it. And there's just that it's not just, a, it's a universal opening. There are aggressive lines, there are positional lines. So, it's definitely not boring. <laughs> right. Mm. Uh, so, there are, uh, there was one question which was asked uh, by one player. Yeah, which we should, one, I which think, we right? should just, yeah, uh, look at over here, which was after... Edge, no, not here. Before, yeah, edge here, over edgy, here. Edge, edge, g three, queen f six, knight c three, knight d four, bishop b two, knight e two, yeah, queen g six, or king g two. And here, uh, it's queen a nice H5, question. G, no, but it's king g two, right? Or how can rook g one was coming? Now queen h five, rook g one, queen h three is a mate. Ah, okay. Ah, so one move is extra over there. 92 yeah queen maybe some there is some no time. point yeah this was not uh, this uh, so let's go to the next game sure uh, by the way these games are meant for you to understand how uh, dangerous the opening Khan is you can look at this king here S center mm -hmm. in the center but so safe yeah and this guy here not moved cannot move actually because both pawns and this, <laughs> this guy so, so it was you see the dark square is mainly they are uh, occupied by pieces even when i was always trying queen of six bishop c5 so as i say sicilian is played on dark squares right so amruta what what's the next game who is your opponent here next game was in chennai open it was just a few years ago and uh, i was playing against 1800 opponent uh, I will still continue with this c4, knight f6 and now bishop d3. It could come in this move order also, knight c6. And unlike the last game where knight went back to e2, knight into c6, d into c6. 
well we had to ask them yeah because <laughs> oh god <laughs> because the point is after night into c6 last time it was a big lecture last time on what to capture with so uh, but yeah i think all those who attended the lecture would have got it would have got but still for those who di- haven't uh, maybe you can just make it clear why d into c6 yeah because as we know the our normal principle of capture towards center we should go with the b pawn but because white is already having his pawns on c4 and e4 with good control on d5 we should go for d into c6 here uh with the idea of opening the d file getting the outpost here and going for e5 in the future opening this bishop So yeah this is the main idea of this move. So when we go e5 d5 is controlled by the pawn on c6 which is very important. Yes, yes. and guys uh, e5 here looks like a very powerful move but uh, doesn't work. Can you tell us why? It's always you should keep in mind. Yeah, let's see who tells us first or quickest. Okay, uh By the way Rohan Vidate wants not Sicilian Khan he wants Karo Khan. <laughs> okay uh, Rohan okay. that will also happen I think I like Karo Khan very much so uh, will happen once. I think if we cover all the openings how long do you think it will take? Mm, it's how not possible <laughs> I think to to cover everything but definitely even Khan will take a long time to cover it's just that uh, once you start seeing these videos try to play uh can in in your blitz games online or on play chess and yeah. try to get a feel of it rather than just waiting for all the lectures yes. so lot queen of people a now it's like queen a5 by, by harsh <laughs> kanoje akash aditya talekar everyone well it's very basic but good to remember these themes you lose yes. the e5 pawn Definitely. great so everyone's uh, at the top of their game right now uh white castled white castled yes and then uh, now the idea is e5 because there is no more queen a5 check uh, but w- right now we have our queen on d8 we don't really need to take it to c7 over here because as we discussed e5 is just possible because of the c6 pawn which is controlling the key d5 square as, as of now and the knight cannot get there so e5 uh if white has to go for f4 as we know the e pawn will become weak knight c3 was played bishop c5 it's like you're playing on dark squares this yes. is the kind of the moral you put the pawn on e5 bishop c5 yes and now you really want to play knight g4 and h5 <laughs> well uh that is the idea but let's see what white can do here yes. that is very important so white wants to st- stop uh, black's knight g4 and that is why he she played bishop g5 here by the way aditya talekar has a question what if bishop c2 to e5 so in this position he suggests the move bishop c2 what would be the idea of the move well he wants to exchange the queens and stop your attack first of all like sh- exchanging queens is just okay like already fine for black yeah firstly in general uh many times like as i was told that in sicilian end game favor is black okay so this was the thing like there there is absolutely no danger normally there is so much that white can cause to black uh, so much attack is possible so this is first of all very fine but even if i uh, black can here think whether he has to capture or he can maybe develop queen b6 mm-hmm. this is interesting because or queen c7 but if i if you t- if you attack this i'm going I'm to I'm a, i can capture on b2 ah, but maybe uh, yeah but maybe, maybe there is a lot of compensation fine. knight d2 yeah no i would not possible but possible. Uh, maybe bishop, bishop c5, c5 and is also just possible keeping control on the dark square at this point the main idea is uh, after e5 this is one of the very important things and very common factors in sicilian that uh, towards the end black has in his black has in mind that he what he really aims for let's say is he aiming for this light square bishop versus uh, opponent's bishop or knight versus bishop so if he is left with white uh, the knight versus white uh, bishop which is a bad bishop then positionally it is always better for black mm-hmm. 
so uh, many times with the, the simple idea that he wants to go in such a kind of end game the moves ca- start flowing naturally so that is there but i think over here even if you play bishop c2 i can just take on d1 i can just play bishop c5 there are a lot of options sure. and it is not dangerous for black yes there was also a question that in s- after e5 what if black just played bishop e3 yeah bishop e3 stopping bishop c5 that is possible but you have a move here which we should not forget mhm knight yes to g4 knight to g4 and that's the problem uh, if bishop e3 was you had h3 then bishop on e3 would have been nice but now the bishop is pushed back and black's bishop goes to c5 yeah so anyway so bishop that is the reason bishop g5 was played when i played bishop c5 here and now uh, black can continue you'll find uh, some games here uh, if you look in the database h6 bishop h4 we have uh, one question by jignesh shah who says what if white plays on dark squares by playing b3 bb2 don't you think the e5 point would be attacked yeah yeah but black will simply anyway continue maybe with. here yeah something like b3 but, but i, I always have bishop on d4 you can just exactly put the bishop queen, on d4 yeah queen can come to e7 so so that is why it's not the most recommended way to play from white i would say uh, but you should know if white plays is how to continue so h6 bishop h4 and now how should black continue here that is the question yeah good question uh, i think for all the people over there remember that castling is very important so you must put your king to safety don't okay. give them clues <laughs> okay they don't listen to us yeah <laughs> anymore they just want to play they want to attack like akash akash says g5 akash uh, what what are you made up of do you not afraid of weakening your king or anything of that sort Yeah a lot of uh, people LPN student also says g5 I think Amruta you've given them a good feel of uh, of the Khan variation in general they they want to attack not me they already have it so they are just picking it up Yes right even right. even Avatan Shu even Angom everyone goes g5 Yes so as we know our king when center is closed you don't need to worry about the king right now and there it doesn't seem a way that white can really get f4 So yes g5 the king is safe in the center still bishop g3 and now e5 is attacked so first i have to save it queen e7 and now black's threat is uh, that this piece is weak and you want to go, you would like to go h5 h4 in the future because of which the bishop may get trapped so he will play he she played king h1 then h5 again i think mm, just you are just rolling your pawns on the king side yeah Sagar says g5 bg3 bg4 was also strong in that position according to him Where? followed by queen b6 and long castle we need here after bg3 bishop g4 yeah but uh, no, maybe queen b3 will what to do for queen b3 here queen b3 ah no no sorry i have made a blunder no so just queen c2 and maybe uh, e5 is hanging so you can't go queen b6 that is the problem i think bishop into this e5 this pawn is yeah. hanging uh, so queen e7 looked okay Queen e7, yeah, it's fine. Now h5. H5. Now uh, White has to play f3. Yes. Harsh Harsh Kanoje says Bishop e6, Queen e7, Long Castle. Harsh, your But idea is correct. Bishop is on e6, then e5 is not protected. Yeah, e5 That is, is a problem. Angry. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Wild Buddha says, please give a good recommendation for playing against the London system. Maybe after this game, mm-hmm. how to play against London? Well. uh surely we will do something on that later but today it's just khan yeah so let's focus on it yes h5 f3 again we will get going by h4 bishop f2 yeah mm-hmm. and uh, here i would like to ask how should uh, black continue right so always there's a question in the air for you uh, which helps you to understand the position much better so please type your move whatever you feel so that when the answer is given you can understand how uh, close you were now many times you don't write it down you're in your head it's all hazy and then 
you're thinking about a move like bishop e6 but when she says some other move you say yeah, yeah i thought of that move as well but if you type it then that's for sure it's like making a move okay so uh rohan is very keen on making a stream on blitz well uh, rohan will try my best akash says take on f2 uh, harsh kanoje says knight h5 by the way harsh is a very uh, good trainer he's from nagpur okay. and uh, it's very nice that he's also joined us harsh uh, excellent move knight h5 yes uh, really it's a very nice move because h3 could look really attractive here but uh, then white would simply play g4 and control h5 square and then it's not easy so uh, that is the reason knight h5 is a good move here mm -hmm. uh knight g3 is a big threat yeah now if white takes on c5 bishop into c5 queen into c5 knight g3 is very strong like maybe first knight first g3 knight king g3. g1 and then check yeah it's forcing he cannot take that so white played king g1 back over here yes everyone is just going forward they are like now next move we want to go g4 <laughs> but uh, perhaps you were not so keen on attacking yeah i mean g4 no basically i got this position uh, before this game also it it was there in the game and uh, i i was very much attracted by the move uh, knight g3 looks attractive but i didn't really get as much out of it as much i need to so uh, after that game i what i understood was the knight on h5 needs to be on a better square and that square is f4 because if knight on g3 doesn't really attack anything whereas knight on f4 is putting the pressure on the g2 point so which is very important you have to find the right point to attack so uh, king we, g1 we have jignesh who says i think if we are playing on dark squares we should not exchange the dark squared bishops uh no it depends actually because here if, if white exchanges the bishop then it's uh, for your advantage his yes. square is a uh, your queen is much stronger it's controlling on controlling the dark squares so in this particular position yes i think uh, also Normal. you are giving up your dark squared bishop yeah. so your dark squares are becoming more and weak. mainly the what we need to think is what is left on the board so the light square bishop which is left on the board is bad is a bad bishop so we are happy to get into that position so king g1 and here i made a very simple move very unlike me because usually earlier whenever i used to attack it was it used to be so fast completely irrational and then i had a camp uh, with vladimirov and uh, he grandmaster uh, vladimirov uh, from uh, russia yeah who was garry kasparov's uh, second yes and then uh, he told me that you just don't take care of your king <laughs> and then he suggested me to see the uh, book capablanca's best games and then it really helped me to understand to get some positional understanding yes so i think yeah. moves like bishop e6 mm. you need to calm down a bit and think about getting all your pieces mm. into the game so we i know that last game you mated without your rook but here long castle will help you a lot yeah so bishop e6 and then uh, queen c2 just a normal developing move <clears throat> long castle i played here rook d1 because i think many times there will be threats like taking on d3 c4 is weak um, it may not even be needed but just something to keep in mind and now knight f4 simply going in yep your white played a move uh, just completely not giving importance to the attack b3 of, maybe of course, uh, knight d3 and bishop into c4, c4 was one of the threats but for me if i'm if i have a choice that i'm getting some pawn on queen side and my attack is over i don't want that pawn <laughs> i want the attack to continue because then that is uh, more chances of the game ending <laughs> yes. quickly uh, with a masterpiece so yeah b3 and here um, yeah how to continue the attack uh, black to play here you have already got all your pieces into the game now it's the time for final assault i think today's uh, player nice. of the day or you can say the student of the day was surely akash akash i don't know what his uh, surname is surname or uh, what's your name what's your rating mm. Uh, but or maybe uh, they are twins akash akash oh, but he's saying the move always first uh, <laughs> so but but of course there are a lot of 
players who said Rohan Vidate says G4 um, also over here. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Wild Buddha and as well. The most natural move here, G4. Uh, of course, only choices were rook first rook, the first rook G8, and then G4. By but the way, Sagar Chess has a very interesting move here. Yes. Uh, which is Bishop H3. Yeah, uh, I did consider that. I don't know if it it works because uh, what if you just no. take it yeah take knight g knight into h3 king g2 and then you and then take on f2 and knight and f2, although you f2, and then there is g4 possibility i like i have missed uh, some positions some attacking positions by playing something which is really attractive but not necessary because the calculations uh, do not get to a point where they are very clear and then you just keep calculating then you get into time pressure and it is all unnecessary so it is possible that this move might be working uh, might be very good but i had something which i myself didn't know how should white face that so I think uh, G4 would be more natural yep. and much stronger. You can't take but because of Bishop definitely G4. Definitely you have to keep in mind that Bishop H3 like moves are possible and some of the some of such positions finish with those kind of moves. <laughs> sure. So yes, that's a nice move Halsagar. Bishop E2 by white. Bishop E2. Yeah. Now because finish him off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, I think uh, you will easily be able to find uh, the finishing stroke now. It's uh, black to play here. Ramchandra Nadar says knight into g2, possible. Uh, but something stronger. Well, white has knight d5 maybe in the position. Uh, but yeah, let's... It's black to move, so here you can start your attack first. Uh, Devendra Maurya says, best chess partners. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, so and there we have, have it. Uh, Akash, Sagar Chess, Harsh Kanoje, Shubh Kapoor, CD Sabne, Abhay Bandewar, uh, Chess Beast, Autanshu Bhatt, Arvind Joseph. <laughs> Sovik Mukherjee, Gaurish Baliga, Vishwajit Dongle, everyone found, yeah, everyone. Tushar Kuwar, everyone says G3, well, amazing. So, yes, G3 is the right move here. We're yeah. so happy that everyone's just uh, making the best moves. In the flow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you're playing like 2200 players, yeah. I mean, uh, this is what Amruta was rated around 2120 or something, but surely you're making great moves. I'm happy about it. Bishop into c5, queen into c5, king h1. So you made uh, this beautiful cake, which is very tasty, very beautiful. Now it's time to put a cherry on the top of the cake. <laughs> Finish off your attack with a flourish now. Black to play. I, I CD Sabne says it's easy. Yes, of course it's easy. Very easy. Um, but in general, if you keep looking at such games, um, you will be able to play them in your games as well. So, sometimes this attack just flows. Akash Akash is 1853 rated. Okay. He is here with the right move. H3. Abhay Bande says Bande H3. Uh, once again, Harsh, Bande Sagar Chess, <laughs> Funny Tej, Funny Teja, CD Sabne. Rohan Vidate. That's say. the right move. H3. H3. And it was really beautiful in the game to get such a thing. You feel so happy yeah, when you get to play such a game. Rook into d8, king into d8, g into h3 and yeah, g2 was You amazing. mated with a pawn. Uh, thanks to my opponent, she didn't resign. So it was... <laughs> yeah, it's like Grishchuk, what he did recently yeah, with Anand. that is why. <laughs> allowed him to mate. So two games you saw, two checkmates to the black king. Uh, sorry to the white king once black king was on e8 now on d8 so and like black king was relaxed yeah <laughs> so i think okay this could be uh, something where you can think whether you are liking it the positions will be completely different in some other lines 
but in general uh, it's a very very interesting opening and uh, there are a lot of things to it the dark square is where the knights are well placed where your bishop should be which pieces should be exchanged which pieces you should aim for you know all of these things we are going to study more um uh kan i think uh, even prathamesh uh, mukal he is my brother he is an international master and uh, with a grandmaster norm he has played kan so much in his life that uh, uh, i am really hoping that sometime he he also takes a class for <laughs> yeah, let's hope he joins <laughs> us uh, sometime in the future uh, harsh says thanks sagar and amruta uh, great game Uh, and uh, cd subne says whom were you playing who was your opponent my I think opponent they... was uh, nivedita 1781 was a rating at that time and then uh, yeah it was in 2010 in chennai open right so uh, i think two games this were uh, sort of motivational at the same time it showed you how to play against this pseudo uh, maroxi setup like usually maroxi is uh, signified with e4 and c4 pawn <coughs> This bishop on d3 is somehow misplaced. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, difficult. Like you, ca- you cannot even take it uh, before the right time because it's just uh, it's not the right time. That's the reason. Uh, but at some point, you it really becomes so active that you want to get rid of it. <laughs> right. So it's not easy. <laughs> so Amruta, uh, before you move to the last part, can I just quickly recap on what uh, was learnt in these th- two games? Yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. So after mm-hmm. bishop d3, uh knight c6 was an important move in uh, Padmini's game. Oops. I hope uh, things are okay. Yeah, in Padmini's game, knight e2 was played. In the other game knight into c6. So if knight e2 you It's a weak move. You know you need to attack on the king side. So bishop c5, knight g4. Just go for it. H3 and now <laughs> I think uh, we H5. don't need we need don't need to ask you h5 I think uh, very strong yeah that is like and then queen f6 and you attack and in the second game we saw knight into c6 and I'm going to ask you once again I know that most of you know what to play here as black but for all those who don't please try it out uh, black to play here what would you play so uh, at the end of it uh, i think a few of the people always tell us that they're going to play the khan well wonderful you should play the khan especially yes. if you play amruta with black play the khan <laughs> <laughs> it would be fun um devendra says thanks chess base india you took chess in india to an another level thank you so much devendra sagar chess says thanks a lot hal sagar will be meeting you soon in the karnataka state Uh, it will be great to see you there with your students um tushar kuwar thanks to both of you tejas joshi says please continue the series amruta are you going to continue this yes if uh, people uh, want to learn then if, of course i'm motivated <laughs> yes for sure we'll be continuing this uh anya says thanks and by the way uh, mm. a few of the people have Did said b into c6 here so B just i mean most of them said d take mm-hmm. with the d pawn but there are a few who said with the b but taking with the d pawn d for delhi is the strongest move here i think you just need to after the lecture forward it a bit amruta has explained why this move is strong rewind you mean yes sorry yes. rewind sure so this is the key move here and uh, as we saw in the game that you get e5 immediately e5 and bishop c5 and here white played bishop g5 similarly white should go for uh, better options which are stopping uh, knight g4 by h3 and he can develop queen e2 bishop e3 or maybe queen f3 bishop e3 these are the some better ways to play with white but if you look into the database see a few games in this line and uh, you will find many games with black is comfortable completely comfortable so um, this is for now yeah yes yes this is great uh, people are saying please continue please so okay i mean uh, we will come back soon uh, 
can you make it longer is what many people are asking but i'm sure it's better yes. to keep it shorter and people wanting it more <laughs> than to keep it longer and then everyone leaving yes in the <laughs> next lecture i think what we will cover is um, c4 and knight c3 okay can you just show the moves uh, how that would work yes so d4 c4 knight d4 a6 and c4 knight f6 and at this point knight c3 okay so this is what we will cover in the next lecture mm -hmm. and um, of course we also have to cover bishop d uh, over here sorry bishop d3 knight f6 castle and then queen e2 this ah. is also one of the important you mean queen c7 and then queen e2 yes. this yes. one is important so there is a uh, yeah there is a lot we will I be think covering it's not necessary to go move by move more like understand the more, structures yes, sure uh, and if you understand them well uh, you will be able to find your way on the board correct I right agree. uh and uh, well nimzo indian is what rohan asks i would say rohan go to chess base india yeah. there is a new dvd by rustam kazimjanov uh, second of karuana former world championship uh winner fide world championship winner and he has made a video on uh, a dvd on nimzo indian which is a lifetime repertoire for black <laughs> so uh, just have a look at that and wild buddha asks us asked us many times will you be in kathmandu uh, no we won't no, be there uh, we would have loved to be there next year for sure uh, this time we are in karnataka at the karnataka state championship which would also be very interesting okay anjaneya can i can calculate deep variations but sometimes i miss variation so how can i calculate the board amruta no you, you are the best person to answer <laughs> no okay i mean we did a camp recently where amruta did teach about blindfold chess how to think deeper so if you can catch one of our lectures one of our camps that would be nice yeah. uh, but apart from that go to account.chessbase.com try to solve tactics there on the tactics trainer it's a really good resource um, there are more than 50000 positions if you are a premium member yeah. and it's not very expensive we are just 1500 rupees a year sure so go there try to solve some tactics every day i recommend half an hour every day from there agreed and uh, any time you get to attend a camp i'm sure we can help you in this very particular thing which we had focused on so yes and amruta when will be your next video that's what everyone's asking i think we will announce it one day before yeah i'm not sure right now i don't know saturday sunday is what is the time which works for everyone yes <laughs> yeah we'll we'll try to uh, announce it one day before on chessbase.in uh, keep an eye out on the website and uh, thanks for joining yes, in yes many many th thanks because of you guys it is much more interesting for us to yes. teach this and we'll see you soon bye bye